Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. I'm Ranger. I'm Ransom. And today, we're matching, and we're going to take you guys along down the creek. So let's go. You can see right over here, over my shoulder somewhere, the boys are playing down in the creek. So we are taking you on another creek adventure to start off our video today. But we have a lot more going on. Cassie is going to be moving some chickens out of the shop. The weather has finally warmed up in Oklahoma. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon, and we are gonna be outside all day today enjoying the weather. But like I said, we're starting off down here at the creek, and I thought we would show you where our, our place starts, and it's right here at this fence, and we're gonna be following some of the creek out today. So hopefully you guys enjoy the beautiful scenery and the nice weather just like us, right guys? Yeah. You got, are you boys glad the uh, snow is gone and the ice? Yeah, yeah, we still got a little bit in the shade, but it's mostly gone. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of snow and ice, but uh, it's also t-shirt weather. So there's snow and ice on the ground and it's t-shirt weather at the same time. Yeah. And me and are so you guys did that on purpose? Yeah. yeah. You like to match? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's head down the creek and show them along. Also later on, we have a problem with the cows that we want to show you. The cattle are shrinking. That's right. They are getting shorter and shorter. Do you guys know that? No. What? Yeah. And I think I found the problem, and I think I also know a solution. So stick around for that. If you want to see um, what we can do to fix our shrinking cattle, then stay tuned. So this creek has some rock that's in the bottom, some small rock, and then some mud also. But the boys wore their... Muck boots, so they're ready for it. Yeah. Ranger, you said you found the coolest spot? Yeah. yeah. It's where our tree roots and there's a little built-in seat. The so ranger said that this is cool because the tree roots are all washed out right there. On it. Hmm. I think it's because of water. You think the water pulls uh, pulls objects across that and makes lines? Yeah. That is cool. Look at that. It's like a heart right there. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that was somebody's sweetheart. That is almost a perfect heart made right into the rock. This needs to be How deep does it get, Ransom? About like uh, three inches. Maybe three foot? Yeah. Pretty deep. crossing this once with my friends and then uh, someone fell in it and we carved out a little like chair a over buck here shot? no like a buck shot so this is probably one of the biggest banks of the creek it's probably about a six foot drop right there Look, this is me. and where you have to be really careful because you don't want to uh run up on that and fall down it'd be a pretty good oh, way one and this is well, how tall it is. But mm -hmm. this is like quicksand. It's like quicksand? Yeah, because look. Don't fall in the quicksand, Ransom. So we are trying to uh, take advantage of the beautiful weather today, but also there aren't any snakes or ticks out because it's just been too cold. So thankfully we can walk and enjoy our little hike down here and explore no. without getting on anything. What'd you find, Joe? What's it, baby? There's still skunks and stuff, so you guys better be careful. Oh. Ransom, you don't want to smell like a skunk, do you? You have to take a bath in tomato juice. It's like a little skunk hole. So down here is also one of our little ponds that actually holds some water. Uh, it has water probably 10 or 11 months out of the year, so the cows get to drink out of it. Also, the creek probably has water about 10 months out of the year, so we're... We're really thankful that we have this um, water down here for the animals. Now we're matchy. Yeah, it's slick. Now we're matchy. What happened, Danger? I almost fell. But this is our fort. Fort. So, like, this is where we would set, and we cut down some trees and try to make a little deck. But we haven't been down here in like two years, so it doesn't really look like anything. Yeah, this used to be Ranger's Fort, and. Our neighbor kids that he used to play with also helped make it. So now would be a good time to mess with stuff down here because there's not any snakes. 
So we had some plans for this pond and the plans were uh, that we had a contractor that was going to clean out all the bank around here, all the trees. And then down here on this end where you can see the water is flowing out of the pond, we were gonna build this up, fill this in with um, some rock and different ma dirt and materials, fill it up and then um, put an overflow on it so we could actually hold a little bit more water. We hope one day to hold about four foot of water in here. But as you guys know with contractors, it always does not go as planned. So we currently are waiting to find somebody else. And maybe one day you guys will get to see uh, some improvements on this pond. So the boys are coming down the creek. All this water right here is flowing out of our pond and it meets all the water over here, which is coming down the creek. So all of it comes down together and then combines right down here to keep flowing. So this right here, I don't know if a beaver built this little dam up right here or if it's just a natural dirt, but it looks like it has a lot of uh, trees and different stuff in it. But the beavers love to make their own messes, don't they, boys? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to make some built-in waterfalls. Yeah. Some built-in waterfalls? Yeah. Ranger's down here trying to make some... Uh, pretty waterfalls. Some pretty waterfalls. Ransom, there. you want to help me get the water? What's going on down there, Ransom? I'm trying to fix the dam. You're trying to break the dam? Yeah. Bob, I'm coming. Wow, that worked. What did? So you can see we're probably about halfway down our creek right now because the house, oh, let it focus, is right, right up there. I'm not getting all dirty. You're getting all dirty? Ransom, hop out of there. You're getting too deep in the wet water. I already got my hands dirty. Yeah, I see that. You can clean them off in the creek, but don't. Don't get in the water over your boots. You're, you'll get water all in your boots. What is it, Joe? What is it? What is it? What is it, Shelby? You guys better not run those skunks out of here and get it sprayed. That wouldn't be good, would it, Ransom? No. So we've came down to the end of our creek as far as this side of the fence it actually turns and goes that way and stays right next to the road um, all the way down to where our place ends down here but this is our little creek and we really enjoy it don't we boys yep. it's nice for cattle to drink out of and it's nice to have some running water on the place just in case something ever bad happened that we needed running water that wasn't available we could always come down here and it might not look that great, but if you got some of that and put a few ounces of bleach in it or treated it just a little bit, you could definitely drink it. So it's nice for emergency backup if we ever needed it. So Ranger has cleaned out quite a bit. He got the water flowing again right there and he's still working on it. So he he at least did some, uh, did some cleaning was down here. Ransom, you cleaning up too? Yep, I'm trying to make all this go in there. All right, well, we're going to have to get up to the house. We're going to go uh, move some chickens and try to fix our shrinking cattle problem. So the cows see us coming and all they think about is food. No girls, it's not time to eat yet. Not quite time. Although that's all you think about, isn't it girl? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Why don't you go ahead and cross the fence, bud? These cows, they they all have a mind of their own. They know me pretty good, but they don't necessarily have had almost, ever had the boys rubbing all over them. I'm almost too big for crossing like this. Well, you can always go over the top. I know, but it's faster to do that. Uh, this is the two-step gate. You go one step, two steps, and then back down. So the boys went in and got them something to drink and a snack and I'm about ready to feed some of these animals while we wait on Cassie to make her way out to deal with the chickens. So what, did, what are you guys having? A picnic? Yeah. yeah. What's on the menu today? We have chips, spicy popcorn, and then more Doritos on the bottom. Oh, you have a whole mix of chips and it looks like A&W root beer? 
So Ransom heard me say pig feed and he come running. He said, I gotta get my tool. Is that your carrier, Ransom? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of water on it for Junie and Cooney. Get it kind of wet. All right, you ready? Well, I see that, a lot of water. That is a lot of water. <laughs> Ransom's always trying to figure out how to make things uh, more fun and easier, I guess. Can you get it over that? There you go. The mud is making it a little bit hard, isn't it? Yeah. Makes everything a little harder. All right, Ransom made it out here, and we are here to report that Junie and Cooney's feeder is working great. Uh, they are doing awesome with it. And I'm gonna lift it over this fence here and give them both. And it's still running. Good job, baby. It'll be all right, she's tough. So some people were worried about the divider not letting them, uh, keeping them separated, but you can see as long as their nose don't, aren't able to push each other out of the way, then they're in good shape. Right, baby. Oh. And they really don't fight that much. It's just when they had one small pen, they got a little bit um, pushy. Come on, baby, come on. All right, Lulu, Lulu, you got to come over here, girl. <laughs> Lulu knows what's up. She's not liking this medicine or food. You got to have it, Lulu. So just a quick update on Lulu. She is still doing good. You just, just saw her probably moving around pretty quickly. She's afraid I'm gonna catch her and work on her feet. Is that what you're afraid of, girl? You think I'm gonna catch you and work on your feet? Maybe this week we might have our farrier back to uh, check her out again. And um, he said he needed to take a little bit more off, but she is doing so much better. Uh, we're really thankful for um, our new farrier. He's doing a great job with her. So all the goats are doing awesome. The kids that were out with the um, other goats are now back in here. And they're doing a good job adjusting, staying with the, the herd. And uh, everybody seems to be doing pretty good, especially with this new weather. I think they're really enjoying it. So I feed some of them outside. <laughs> hey, Tom Henry. Oh, Tom Henry's getting very loud and very vocal. <laughs> vocal. No. Look who finally came outside, my it's girls. It's a beautiful day. Now, is he gonna soak some sunshine up? <laughs> Jump on the trampoline, maybe? Do some tricks? She's a girl of few words. So, Cassie, what do you wanna tell them what we're gonna move right now? Yeah, we're gonna go in and get my death layer chicks and move them out to the next um spot for as they're growing up i converted a i think it could be anything but it was a a uh, rabbit hutch i finished the bottom out changed it different things and now i can put chicks or chickens in there so we're gonna do that and we're gonna be able to do that because the weather has finally warmed up yes it's t-shirt weather is what we've been saying but then you came out in a hoodie well, that's how Mazzy's dressed. Mazzy's in t-shirts. The boys were in t-shirts earlier, so I think it's all right. So the silver death layers are ready to go out to their next stop. Mm -hmm. They've been in a brooder long enough. This is typically bigger than what you would do, right? Yeah, so I did not hatch these. Uh, Lori over at LG Homestead went and picked these up for me because it was closer to her place than mine as like three or four day old chicks. I think, mm -hmm. and then she kept them for about a week for me until we could meet up. So they were hatched out around December 22nd. Typically, I'd probably already have them outside, but you guys know we had that sleet and super cold weather, so we kept them in just a little longer. Uh, but they have their feathers. We're gonna let them slowly accl acclimate to this weather, and then if it gets cold, they should be fine because they've been out long enough. And if you guys missed it, I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what a fully 
uh, mature silver death layer looks like. They look pretty cool. Yes, and they're hard to find. They're pretty rare. So they, um, we are told they're called death layers because they lay an egg until they're dead. So uh, most hens will lay eggs and then they'll stop laying, but they'll live like another two years. These, once they stop laying, that's the end of their life expectancy as well. So kind of sad, I guess, if you think of it, but also why would we want to keep feeding a chicken that's not giving us any eggs? So these will continue to give us eggs um, throughout their life expectancy. All right, let's load them up and move them out. They're, they don't need to stink the shop up anymore. Mazzy is over here on cat patrol, making sure that Mr. Jingles doesn't um, attack any chicks, right? All right, I'm gonna work this for Cassie. So Mr. Jingles is not quite as nice as Sue. He uh, will sometimes reach out and get you when he mess. He just wants to play. He just likes to play. He doesn't mean to be mean, but he can uh, he can hurt you if you're not careful. All right. Cause you death? No, not at all. Because they lay eggs till their death. Ransom, you out there playing basketball? Yeah. Who's winning, you or Bubba? No. You? Oh, that's what I like to hear. Teaching so Ranger a lesson or two, huh? The goal's so high that I can't even shoot it. Oh. Is that true? No, I can make it. No, you can't. I can make it with this ball. Oh, you just gotta have the right ball, Mazzy. All right, let's catch the kid's mom. She's getting awfully close. All right. Back, Joe. Back, Joe. Keep yeah. that one in. Yeah. Yeah. You guys over there jabbering and no one's helping me. Well, we're we're catching up with the walkers. I mean, Sorry. this is Walker Farm Fam. Well, I'll help you. All right, there's only one left now. We're in good shape, I think. Well, we're in we're in decent shape. Joe's over there on patrol. He's gonna. All right, Maddie's gonna give it a try. Oh, almost! Give it one other try, sis. <gasps> All right, Ranger's back on the court. Too much, you're doing too much, you gotta make it. Oh, he made it. Almost lost the dribble behind his back. All right, Ransom. Whoa! Almost made it. Dribble up there one more time, Ransom. Let's see it. Ransom. Whoa! Almost. Ready? You're almost getting it there, buddy. Ranger's a good shot. That's all I can say about that. All right, last one, Ransom. Let's see it. Uh, uh, we're done. One more time, hit that square. Come on. He made it! Woo! Good job, Ransom. Good job, Smiley, buddy. Alright, we gotta deliver chickens. <laughs> Hutch is ready. Cassie's got food and water. To make all the subscribers happy, right? Yep. So hang on though, I need to go. I can do that later. No, let me go take that old rabbit food out. Oh, uh, there's definitely uh, uh, some food over there that needs to come out that way. The animals um, don't eat something that doesn't belong to them. They have their own Kickstarter right here. All right, Cassie emptied that out, so I'm gonna see if these guys will walk out. Come on, you're at your new home. You're at your new home. Oh, nope, they wanna go back in. They like it in there now. They're like, you crazy people. Let's put a little angle on it and see if they'll come out. All right, they made it. The crazy chicken lady did her thing. We moved their feet over here in the corner so they don't sit on top of it and um, poo. Well, you can see they are looking beautiful right now. And we can't wait to see what they look like when they get just a little bit bigger. So did you get all the water filled up? Yep, water's full. They got feed. Temperature's perfect, as if in the next week or two it gets cold again, they'll be able to acclimate it. I just I didn't take them just out of the shop. 
<laughs> I didn't just take them out of the shop in the, with the heater, out to here with nothing. Um, but we'll continue to watch them and pretty soon they'll go in the back and the other grow out pen that's on the ground. It's just kind of a process. Depends on what chickens I have where. No, sir. There's, Walk uh, around. There's a big mud hole there. He uh, shot his bass ball. It rolled through the mud and he was going to chase it, but and, might need to put some uh, gravel through here. And go right through there. Well, that's on the plan. So everything, everything's on the <laughs> list, but it's got a priority. Oh. But I had to deal with something else first. So I did this just a little bit earlier. The cows are shrinking. Have you noticed? They just keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Every time they go around the water tank to take a drink, they get shorter and shorter. Have you noticed that? No, I'm not following you. Cassie doesn't watch like I watch. So the around the water oh, tank. The ground's getting yeah, lower. Yeah, so <laughs> I have to go out and fix the problem with the cows getting shorter and shrinking. So I'm gonna show them. like, what the heck? I'm gonna show them that right now. Also. Oh yeah, look at that new hat. Moorhead Homestead. Did it come with a cheeseburger? Well, you know, yesterday at basketball games, our head coach was like, so who won the challenge? And Bo's like, and so he's like, you better pay up. I said, we are, we just got to find time. Yeah, we'll find a date. <laughs> also, if you've noticed my shirt, Fowler Family Farm. If you guys haven't ever checked them out, they're friends of ours. They live down in Southern Oklahoma. So go check them out as well. Yeah. So I told you our cattle are shrinking and every time I drive by the stock tank, when I go down the driveway, the stock tank is right here. The cattle keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I know what that means and I know what I got to do to fix it. So you can see the stock tanks right here and the cows, they walk around this side and come over here and they walk around this side and eventually they keep wearing the ground down and it makes it harder and harder for the calves to be able to get a drink because when you lose about six inches or eight inches over here, that's a pretty big difference um, to get a drink. Now, the cows aren't actually shrinking. It's the ground that's making them look shorter. But every time I drive by, I promise you, they look shorter and shorter. So what we're gonna do today is I've got the tractor right here and we have some gravel that was actually free. So we um, allowed some of our local utility companies when they ran our fiber optic to dump gravel out here next to this big highline pole. So what we're gonna go do is get some gravel out of there and we're gonna use it over here, put it in here and uh, see if we can make a good spot for the cows to get a drink. Ransom, what? you missed out buddy. I told them all about the shrinking cows. Every time I drive by, I see cows here and they keep getting shorter and shorter. Even the baby ones? All of them, yeah, they're all shrinking. What? But and the babies are gonna be really, really tiny. Well, so they're not exactly shrinking. The ground just keeps getting lower and lower. So I'm gonna go get some gravel. You wanna go watch? Yeah. You love, the, you love watching the tractor work, don't you, buddy? Is that one of your favorite things? Yeah. You dream about, uh, Wheel, big wheel loaders and backhoes and track hoes and tractors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So you can see we have a pretty good pile of gravel right here. I got a little bit in my bucket. I think I want to try to get a little bit more and uh, ugh, get some of this grass out of here. But it has a little bit of dirt, ouch, dropping my toes. A little bit of dirt mixed in with it. Not a big deal though, because where we're putting it, 
it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be a little bit higher so all the animals can do well but there's a few inches of it and the best part about it it is and was free so So I had a little bit of a hiccup because these guys right over here got in my way trying to get out of the gate while I was hauling gravel over here. But you can see I've got um, a pile of gravel right there to work with. I have another pile of gravel to work with and another pile. I think what I'm gonna do now is try to pick up some of these chunk rocks um, out of the field, uh, like this one right here. So a stone. And I'm going to take them over here and just put them right here up against the tank before I go and pile the gravel and pull it in. So if I can do that, I think it'll help out, um, give it a little bit more of a foundation. Hopefully it won't sink as fast. And hopefully cows like blackberry, they don't have problems drinking anyway. But they'll quit shrinking. They won't be so short. They'll grow a little bit. What do you think, Mama? All right, so this this will give you an idea of what I'm going to do, but um, I've got tomorrow afternoon. I should have some time to knock that out. Right now, though, I need to go do some chores and feed these mamas and some of the other cows and other animals. So I'm going to have to call it a day on this, but I got a good start, and this should help out quite a bit. And I know somebody's going to say the right way to fix that is to put some concrete around it and kind of make a approach to it. And you are correct. That is the correct way to do it. And one day I might get around to doing that. But for now, this is gonna work. So she likes, oh, okay. I haven't fed you yet, so you're mad. Is that it? You don't like your scratches today since I haven't fed you yet? Okay. Well, I see you so I just made it back inside and it looks like the boys got something from their Nana that they're making over here. What is it, boys? A big gingerbread cookie. A giant gingerbread cookie? So I'm guessing maybe she had this up from uh, after Christmas, but does it look good? Yeah. Are you gonna eat it up? No. Yeah. I, don't, huh? I don't like those ones. You don't like them? You just want to decorate? Yeah. I want to eat them. All right. You want to put it? Well, it's a little late in the season, but you guys want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> so there you go. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. We hope you have a happy holiday. Not. No, there's always those after Christmas sales, and it looks like that's what um, she picked up. So thank you guys for following along. We hope that you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.